guys, how's it going? It's Shalai Horse Lover 200 here again, and today's video is going to be kind of like a reaction to slash my opinions on the new 2020 Schleich Horses that came out in January. And this video is also a collaboration with Always Equestrian. So I'll be linking her video and her channel all down in the description. So make sure you go watch her video, subscribe to her channel, and show her lots of love. Her channel is awesome. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So we're going to get started with the new Frisian Mare and I'm at the Schleich official website and I'm going to look at the pictures here and this is also kind of like uh, my first time seeing these horses um, so I'm going to kind of like give them off my, my first reaction and I'm looking at this mare and she is beautiful. I mean like all Frisians she has the gorgeous long flowing mane and tail that I love. And I'm also noticing that she has almost like a spiral type braid that goes down her tail, which is really pretty. And I haven't seen any of the other models have that. So it's kind of something special that's just on her, which I really like. And I actually can't find anything negative to say about this horse. I think she is so pretty and I probably would definitely buy her because like I feel like I've said a million times, but she's gorgeous and yeah, like, <laughs> I love Parisians. But our next horse is the Nadstrupper, I believe is how it's pronounced. Nadstrupper Mare. And I don't want to offend anybody, but this is kind of like my opinions. So I am going to say that this is probably my least favorite horse out of all the new ones. Because I have the old Nadstrupper Mare, and she is really detailed and really detailed and stuff and then I just see this one and the old one just makes this one look like it's lacking so much detail I don't know it's just this one I feel like they could have made her look so much more realistic I mean she's cute horse like there's no such thing as a horse that's not cute but I feel like she like could have detailed her more and made her more look more realistic so yeah that's just my opinion Next, we have the new Black Forest Stallion, and this boy is gorgeous, um, but I am going to say, once again, I feel like he could have been more realistic if they would have toned the bright white mane and tail down. Um, maybe it's just a picture, but I was looking at pictures of the old Black Forest Stallion, and once again, like the old one, his mane and tail were so creamy colored, and it looked more realistic than this bright white and I feel like if they would have just made that creamier it would have looked more natural and realistic and stuff but he's still gorgeous and I would definitely like get this one because he's so pretty and we also have the black forest mare and she looks a lot like the stallion um, just a different pose and her face is a little girlier but she's really pretty and you know same same with the mares with the stallion. The mane and tails is really bright white, but she's really adorable, like super cute little mare. And then we also have the Black Forest Full, which is, which I'm trying to click on. And this little full is so cute as well. I mean, that little short little mane and tail is so adorable and his little blaze, really cute little guy and adorable family. I would definitely get these. <laughs> They're super pretty. Now we're going to talk about the American Saddlebred Gelding, and I believe this is their first year doing this breed. Um, I could be wrong, but this is my first time seeing them, so I think it is, but this gelding is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I love this. Like, he's, this is a really realistic horse, like, mm, I like it, and he's, he's just, oh my goodness, like, I can't find nothing bad to say about him, like, so pretty and I would love to get him I mean I want all these horses but I definitely won't get them all but you know you can wish like he's so pretty and I like oh my goodness okay I'm gonna we're gonna move on like I could stand here all day and talk about how pretty he is but there's also an American saddlebred mare and I don't think she's as realistic as the gelding um, but she is a gorgeous golden palomino and you know she's a really pretty horse she's really girly looking and super cute once again you got that bright white mane and tail which maybe palominos are kind of like that I mean I don't think so but I don't know just not as realistic as the gelding but still really cute 
There's also a new Arabian mare, and when I first saw this horse, I thought it was like an quarter pony or something, but it's actually an Arabian, and I feel like she's not as realistic as the old Arabian mares, but a lot of schlakes are like that now, so I'm just going to have to get used to it. Um, she's once again a really bright white color, and I feel like maybe she just needs, maybe she just needs more shading somewhere, like she's got black shading on her nose and legs, maybe she just needs more of that somewhere and might make her more realistic. But she's a cute horse, but probably definitely not one of my favorites of the new horses. And we also have a new Arabian Stallion, and this horse looks a lot like the one they made right before this, so the last Arabian Stallion. He looks a lot like him. Um, it doesn't look like they changed too much. I mean, they did change the color of his braids on his tail, and I think his socks are in, on different legs, and I think... His coat color is just a little different. I mean, when I first saw him, I thought it was the same one as the last one. Like, he's very similar. But he is super realistic, which I love. And I don't have the last Arabian Stallion, so I would love to get him because I don't have an Arabian Stallion at all. And so pretty, so realistic. Like, I'd get this one. I also think they did a really good job on this new Trackner gelding. So pretty, so realistic. Um, I love his tail, how they did like a braid at the top and then it just kind of goes all loose at the bottom. Really like that. I also really like his trotting position. He would look super good with a rider on him and maybe even like in some show tack would look really good. So we're going to talk about one more horse. Um, there might be a couple more new ones. I'm not sure, but... We're just going to do one more because this video is probably long enough and I'm getting tired of talking. So we have that Akultiki. I'm probably saying it all wrong, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Akultiki Stallion. And, you know, he's a pretty nice looking horse. I mean, I had to run down. I just ran downstairs, so if I sound out of breath, that's why. But I had to go grab my Akultiki mare. This is the really old model, and I just want you guys to look and see how much, how different they are. And I think Blossom here looks way more real than the new stallion. And I don't know. I mean, he's a pretty horse, but he just doesn't look real like Blossom is, in my opinion. Alright, so those are my opinions and reactions to the new models. Um, some are hitting it more than others for me, but I think overall they're all pretty nice models. And of course, thank you so much Always Equestrian for doing this collaboration with me. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all next time. Bye!